What's up guys, OC to Extreme here with a video showing you the performance of an N450 netbook running an operating system like Windows 7 Ultimate. So this netbook, I didn't give it an unboxing because it's not mine, it's actually my brother's. He's going to use it in college next year as it's much easier to carry around than his 15 inch Asus laptop. So this is an Acer Aspire 1. I got this week at Target for $199, which is a very good deal compared to mostly any other store out there. So if there's still one and you want a netbook, you should head over to Target to see if you can still get it at that price and if they have any left. So let's do a boot up. This is running Windows 7 Ultimate, but boot up time should be similar on Windows 7 Home Premium and Professional. It does have a 160 GB 5400 RPM hard drive. and it is finished booting. The time isn't the fastest, but I would still have to say I'm extremely impressed with how fast Windows 7 runs on this netbook. So I'm going to zoom in to the screen for you. And we're going to do some application launches. I don't have that much installed on here. Basically Microsoft Office and just I transfer some of my brother's files for him. So let's start Internet Explorer. And this is a fairly new install of Windows 7, so some updates may not be installed yet. Let's do that again. The second time normally is faster for mostly all of these applications. There is Windows Media Player. Now this netbook does support multi-touch you can zoom pictures and you can do two finger scrolling right here I'm doing some two finger scrolling is actually fairly accurate and it's above the level of two finger scrolling with the boot camp drivers on my MacBook now let's run the most important application for this Microsoft Word Now, as I said, this is the first time I'm opening some of these applications as this is a fairly new install. So things will be optimized a bit later. And you can remove a lot of the services. The only services I've really disabled right now are Windows Search and Bluetooth. Because this computer does not have Bluetooth. Even though some of these things might seem a bit slow, it's perfectly usable. And Windows 7 does run quite nicely along with this computer. And the battery life, after only a bit of use, I have to say, 
on my first charge, even when the battery was not optimized, I got over eight hours, even though it only says eight, for three of the hours wireless was not on. And on the other hours, I was listening to music and typing or browsing the web. So I'm fairly impressed. Now, compared to my MacBook over there, if you see the wires, right now I'm running the large display because I'm working on something in Xcode. This actually, I have to say, runs Windows 7 slightly better than my MacBook because the drivers for Boot Camp for this model are still fairly horrible. Scrolling is sometimes it works and if it does work it scrolls all the way to the bottom and then your scrolling freezes and there are a lot of power problems with it so if you are thinking of installing Windows 7 on your N270, N280, N450 or something like that netbook then even though it seems slightly slow in this video this is a fresh install but everything runs as fast as it would on XP and is a jump that you shouldn't be afraid of taking.